Sightcubing here. For this video, I'm going to do five example solves at my level, which is around 17 to 18 seconds, but I'm going to try to slow it down as much as I can so that you guys can follow along. Okay, for my cross, I recognize three types of edges. Solved edges, of which I have none. Set edges, which take one move to be solved. And floating edges, which take more than one move to be solved. Now, obviously, all my edges are floating. However, I do notice that my orange and my red edges are positioned correctly relative to each other because they're opposite each other. So, with one move, I can hit both of these and set my orange and set my red. And I also have a red-blue F2L pair, which I'm going to preserve. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set my green piece. Okay, now I notice that this is in sort of a weird spot, my blue edge. It's in the correct space, but it's flipped, and that's the hardest place for it to be. So before I go ahead and, and put down my red edge, I'm just going to flip this up to make it a little easier. Okay, got to go ahead and solve red. Yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and solve orange and green. Okay, and then I can put in my blue edge like this to preserve my pair. So it's going to go like across, and then I'm going to sort of sledgehammer down in there. There we go. Okay, my first F2L pair that I see is this one. Okay, and that's going to go here. So I'm going to put this in the back so that I have room to see what I'm doing. So now I've got two open slots in the front. Okay, I see this pair, one of my favorites. There we go. And then I see this pair. So this is one of those cases where I actually, um, it's actually more efficient to hide the edge rather than to hide the corner. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, got that in there. OLL. And PLL. It's going to be a J perm. For this solve, I see that my orange edge is set, my blue edge is also set, and my green and red edges are floating. However, they are in very good positions. So I'm going to use a move which I call the piggyback, where um, I have a set edge like this, and I go down halfway, and then bring this edge here so that when I go down again, then the green edge will be matched up. Now, but before I go down again, I want to move my blue edge and solve it. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then I can go ahead and solve the rest just the normal way. There we go. Okay, my first F2L pair I notice is this one, which is nice. Okay, second F2L pair. Solve that, back slot it with the left hand. Okay. Third F2L well pair right here, also back slot. And then my fourth F2L well pair is going to be right here. Okay, and alright. Whoops. There we go. Alright. OLL. And PLL, left-handed G-perm, type 2. Okay, for this solve, I see that my orange edge is set. My blue edge is oriented but not set. Ooh, okay, and my green and red edges are set with a corner in between. So I can almost solve this like in a Petrus fashion. Okay, this is going to work out really well. Okay, um, try to bear with me because this is one of those solves where I go crazy. So what I'm going to do is place my blue edge relative to my green edge. So that means I want them to be opposite each other. So I'm going to move these guys out of the way and put down my blue edge. There we go. Okay. 
gosh, this keeps getting better. Okay, now what I want to do is set down this middle edge. And I move my bottom layer back around. Boom. So now I have three cross pieces, a corner, and an F2L pair. And my orange is ready to go. Boom. So that was uh, very lucky. Okay, I see my first F2L pair is going to be here. Okay, second pair is going to be here. Alright, and third one is going to be here. Oh, well. And PLL, a right handed R perm. Okay, for this solve, I see that orange is set, green and red can be put relative to each other really easily, and blue is set. Okay, this is another great scramble. What I'm going to do is put red and green in the bottom layer. So I'm going to put green here, and red's going to go here, because I know that all I have to do is a D prime and that will solve both of them, okay? Without destroying my orange guy and my blue guy, okay? Uh, my first pair I see is here. You see that right there, okay? And I can backslot that. The right hand. Second pair is here. Um, I think I actually want to go ahead and do this one because it will give me two open slots in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and do this pair. Okay, and backslot that. Much better. Now I have plenty of room to see what I'm doing. Okay, and I see my third pair is already on the top layer. Alright. And my fourth pair is obviously this one. There we go. OLL. PLL is just going to be an A prime perm. Okay, I see that none of my edges are even set, but that I can set some of them pretty easily. So I'm going to set my blue like this. And rather than turn all the way down to solve blue, I'm just going to turn it halfway so that I can set my red. Now this is one of those times where I realize that doing a simpler solution is probably better than trying to do everything at once. So I'm going to go ahead and solve red and blue so that I can get green on the top. I'm going to move green over to where it needs to be. Okay, now instead of just solving green, which would give me a misoriented orange, I'm going to solve it halfway and then move my orange up in there so that when I solve for green my orange can be easily put into place like that. Okay, my first pair I notice is here. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the front slot. Alright, looking through the camera, my second pair is here. All right, third pair is here. Okay, and my fourth pair is here. All right, OLL. And PLL is going to be another R perm.